Hey guys, it's Chris once again. Update on the OSP Tiger Claw. Just found out it's not branded OSP. So it's just the Tiger Claw. Um, anyway, I got some safety updates for you. I isolated everything and we have this new ANL fuse with a digital voltage meter. I went over that before. But now I have this new toy, which as you can tell, I moved my batteries lengthwise and having them, instead of having them stacked up six and six for 12, I just lined them all up, um, coiled my wires, everything's bolted. But what I did was at the end, I ran a negative, right? That's zero or two gauge wire I believe and these are four um, or six these are six I think six and that's a two okay they run to here this is a simple on off just turn it it's off you'll notice now oh I have no power but I'm just going to leave that on, turning this on, comes on. What I do, I turn this off so the solar panels can charge the batteries better. I was noticing getting current drain because this thing has an idle current. Apparently that kept uh, using up a lot of my batteries and when I would check them the voltage would be low. So by isolating the ground here so I can actually shut it off. You can see the solar panels are now recharging the batteries and usually it's about 13.6, 14.2 on a super sunny day. Uh, the charger cuts out at 14.5, I think is its max safety voltage that it dumps. But that's it, quick update. Um, yeah, the solar panels are fused. Um, this is now isolated. Or isolated and fused and hardwired and it's been going good so a couple weeks uh, that is just a ground to the house ground and it seems to be working very well and I hope this is informative to someone looking to do a home inverter solar powered battery hobbyist level setup take care